Trail cameras are tools we rely on in the field to gather as much intel as we can on where we are hunting. Let's hear from Wade on some helpful tips when it comes to deploying trail cameras. You know, when it comes to scouting camera setup, there's a few key things that guys always keep, got to keep in mind. What direction is the camera facing? You know, you don't want it facing the east or facing the west unless you just have no other option out there. And the reason being, as the sun comes up, it's going to wash out your photos. They're going to be blown out. Or when the sun's setting, it's going to blow out your photos. The other things, and these are things that are well known and well talked about, are going to be brush in front of your camera. You know, eventually you're going to have a 20, 30, 40 mile an hour wind out there. And if you got a bunch of leaves and, and branches blowing in front of in front of the trigger, which is basically the these devices right here, what's going to happen is you're going to get several thousand photos of a tree bench moving. We've all been there. We've all had it happen. It's just a part of life. So, you know, those are simple things. You'll see us when we're putting our cameras up, we're going to take a you know, loppers, we're cutting brush, we're clearing brush around it, trying to get the best possible angles that we can. And then the other things that you're looking at is how you're gonna mount those cameras to to the location specifically that you're that you're looking at. And there's a million different ways that you can mount a camera out in the field. And we're gonna talk about some of those next. You know, when it comes to mounting a scouting camera, I think I've tried about everything that I possibly can. And, and I still come up with new different things every year. I see something different out there I've got to try. And I'll be honest, I've failed a lot of times, but my goal is to get whatever kind of photos that I can in those situations, because there's no perfect mounting spot for everything. There's going to be places and times where pushing one in the ground is going to be your solution. Driving a T-post into the ground is going to be your solution. And in those situations, you might be wiring it, you might be zip tying it, you might be using the, the cords and the the uh, you know, things that it come with, uh, T-post mounts, whatever it may be. And then there are other times where you're gonna pull into situations where you've, you've gotta screw it into a tree or you're screwing it into a wood fence post on the side or whatever you may find and the simplest mounts will work in those situations. So I, I literally have a little box of stuff that we carry around and when it comes time to mount cameras, whether it's in the back of a side-by-side, -side, back of our truck or whatever, we're gonna whip this thing out and do our best to put the camera camera in the right places where it's not facing east, not facing west, so the sun setting it off in the early mornings, always facing whatever it is, a feed source, whether it's a food plot, a feeder, whether it's a water trough, whatever it may be, a key trail, just so that you can get it anchored down so that if the livestock come by or some varmint or some bird wants to land on it, it's secure, it won't move. And when you leave and you get back and you're looking at your app or you're picking that card up later, you got photos that are gonna be useful and give you the data that you're looking for. So secure them, secure them tight, get a lot of different methods, find the one that'll work for you, but always put your scouting cameras in the best place possible to get what you're looking to get and get those photos.